Happy full moon to my Aquarius. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Aquarius. Let's get into it. The energy has already been cleared, Aquarius. I've already prayed over your cards. Let's see what's in them. Let's see what the message is, Aquarius. Let's see what the message is in the cards. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Is this If this is your first time on my channel, Aquarius, welcome. If you're just cruising by, thank you for just cruising by. If, this, if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it all. All right, Aquarius, let's get into it. Let's get into it. If you haven't had a chance to watch a six-month prediction video, it is up on Patreon. It's very in-depth. Um, and the next six months will be going up very, very soon. So watch out for that. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thank you for all the love, the comments about the um, the extra videos, the, the bonus videos, Aquarius. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm talking to you if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but I'm talking to wherever Aquarius, your inner, outer planets, as well as your luminaries, right? And your ascendant. I'm talking to wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. I prayed over every area of your lives, Aquarius. So wherever spirit leads me to, uh, to really, really do some more digging as to the questions that I already asked uh, for you all. Let's see what comes out. All right. First card leading is the full card in upright. Somebody has closed out a cycle in love, right? And somebody is embarking on a whole new journey. You've closed out cycles. Full and upright is really a good card because it says you've already gone to the 21st card in Major Arcana, the world card. You've gone around and around and around uh, about certain things. And as this full moon in Virgo is um, lightening up everybody's focus, I mean, really detailed analyzing your own life, your moods, your emotions, your feelings about things. I feel like somebody has said, see this sunlight right here? Somebody is saying, and, and this dog right here symbolizes loyalty. Somebody is embarking on a whole new journey, you know, feeling footloose and fancy free Aquarius. I love it. I love it. I love it. When And that cycle is closed out airtight. In other words, you know that you add value to this world, right? And you add value to all the things on this planet, Aquarius. So, yeah, somebody is definitely in a very confident space. Um, somebody is definitely, here we have the Eight of Swords and also the Two of Swords. Somebody was definitely, um, she had, they had these blindfolds on. Somebody could have been blinded by hurt, you know, in the past. But when you take the blindfolds off, you know, you get a chance to see the blessing that lies right in front of you. Here's soulmate energy for you all. I definitely see an energy um, in all areas of your lives, Aquarius, that is soulmate energy. Their, their energy is not interested in making your soul hurt. Their energy is only interested in, you know, nurturing and nourishing your soul as you can do you know, for them. So this uh, modern day ritual for full moon, like I said before, in your previous readings, the full moon can often make us feel energized, but it's also common for the energies to be very intense and emotionally draining, right? And so you're definitely closing out the overthinking to a point of self-sabotage, overthinking things, right? Giving things um, uh, any more thought. I see you totally moved on from something. Here we have um, you see this, uh, this medical symbol right here with the two snakes, right? So somebody's definitely had a Kundalini experience about what nurtures your spirit and what doesn't nurture your spirit, Aquarius. So it goes from this to this, right? So overthinking something can kind of dry up your, dry up your creativity, can dry up your joy, can dry up your healthy range of emotions, right? So I see somebody moving on something that could have been possibly a codependent, um, relationship, something could have caused you to start overthinking, you know, sexual rigidity or, you know, energy could be sexually promiscuous or energies that could, uh, will cause you to be that or sexually rigid, like shut down. You know, you all are fixed signs. So you gotta be real careful, Aquarius, about what energies you align yourselves with, right? By now you already know. But now you already know, Aquarius, you already know. So if it doesn't add to your joy, your creativity, your adaptability, if it doesn't add to your emotional range, your sexuality, your sensuality, your fertility, 
for you, it's a no, right? So this is, when we talk about energy, we're talking about, when we talk about water energy, we're talking about your desires, we're talking about your beliefs, we're talking about your um, your feelings, right? Feelings, right? You know, right? So I definitely see someone, um, we got eight and two is 10. Um, Source is saying, yeah, you want to definitely see the blessings right in front of you of leaving some things behind. Yeah, of leaving some things behind so that you don't... Um, fall on your own sword by going backward to anything. So something is closed out, Aquarius. So you're definitely embarking on a new journey. So congratulations to you. Here we have the justice card. Yep. Here we have the justice card. Um, and then we also have the two of wands. I definitely see you moving forward. So the number two came out three times, right? Two of swords, two of cups, two of wands, right? And then obviously these are two, uh, this is a scales of balance, right? So I definitely feel like somebody feels changed, liberated, and free, you know, from something that could have um, caused somebody to go into a zombified state. And we've talked about that before, Aquarius. But two means your peace is paramount, right? And so um, it's a lot of things that these swords symbolize. Swords symbolize like somebody not going back to something that could have triggered emotions of just memories of loss of loved ones. Um, that could have been a reason why somebody says, yeah, you think about it, but then, um, you know, um, especially if it was really traumatic, you know, losing, losing loved ones obviously can um, be traumatic. Or just going backwards to anything where you feel like it could be traumatic. So Source is sending you all kinds of signs around you to give you, to let you know, to continue moving forward, Aquarius. So good deal. Good deal. Good deal for you. Yeah, so um, you're closing things out. Closing things out. Closing things out, Aquarius. Closing them out. Um, um, and yeah, so you. this is nothing else that you need to think about. Take the blindfolds off so you can see... Um, you can see the blessings that lie ahead in a soulmate situation. Yep, in a soulmate situation um, as you embark on a um, a, uh, a new situation, a new situation, right? So someone feel this is a new beginning. This is a time of innocence. You obviously you can see free spirit. You're ruled by Uranus, which is a generational planet. Um, and you are your peace again is paramount, right? Remember, um, Libra, this is Libra. Libra is ruled by uh, Venus. Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, um, the planet of erotic love. It's also associated with um, associated with the day Friday, the color green. Um, and it's also a peacemaker planet. So I definitely feel like... Um, you are adding to your peace, and this is what's in somebody's life right now, soulmate energy, that's adding to your peace. Yep, that's added to your peace, right? You're not holding anything back. You're not taking any risk. You're not, you know, being reckless. That would be a fool in reverse. Let's see what else we got going on here. Here we have the death card. Something is definitely over. Something is definitely over and you're on the rebirth side. That's why I said, you know, you all have definitely moved on from some things. All the time you may have put into some things, Aquarius. Somebody's going to feel very lucky. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Somebody's going to feel very fortunate to have received you all, Aquarius, as a friend, as a business partner, as a love interest, just as fortunate as you will uh, feel to have them in your life as well. So, yeah. All right, Aquarius, we see you. Uh-huh. Here we have two of swords again. Right? So again, take the blindfolds off. Your ancestors are all around you. And the same thing for the energy that's coming across your path. They may have been blinded by pain in their past as well and didn't see. But sources bringing people together real fast, right? So bringing you and your person together really, really quickly. Two and eight, obviously, is ten. Um, they're also very busy. Um, they're booked and busy like you are, Aquarius. Um, and so... Um, but I, again, take the blindfolds off so that you can see what's in front of you and be very intentional and deliberate about what you write down in terms of soulmate energy, right? Write that down. What, what is, what does that look like for you? And as a part of your soul community, for those of you all who are already in a romantic relationship or who desire to be single, um, it has to be balanced within, 
right? It has to be peace and balance within so that you are the energy that you desire to attract. So, um, yeah, but something is over and you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. Yep, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. So again, take those blindfolds off. Two and nine is 11. Those two pillars that you're, you're getting off the fence and you're stepping into that. So remember, you having a great attitude is determining your altitude. Um, someone is definitely feeling changed, liberated, and free. You're not operating in fear as it relates to um, possible new friendships. Um, that could develop into something more. You continuing to be a very hardworking person. Here we have Knight of Pentacles. So Source is saying, continue working hard. You're a hardworking person. You definitely gonna feel like you hit the jackpot. This is not even something you need to overthink. And so while Source is sending the message to you, Source is sending the message to other energies as well, right? So here we have the Seven of Cups. There are some energies that feel like you got away. Remember we talked about the snake, the two snakes right here. So representing good and bad, right? So, but you definitely had a Kundalini experience, you know, Aquarius about, here we have the two of cups and the seven of cups, right? So on one hand, some energies that you close out cycles with feel like you're the one that got away. And I can see why they would feel that way, Aquarius, for you. You all are pretty remarkable zodiac sign. But somebody on the other side is the same thing is happening to them, Right? Um, and so we got nine and nine here. So that's what I'm saying. Like for those of you all who, um, um, who are moving forward, you know, towards your person, you know, that's a member, that's a new member of your soul community, which is very, very important will not make your soul hurt Aquarius. They will actually add to that. It's like fresh water to your soul, right? And here you are, is somebody who is very wise, um, someone who is, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a man, unless, you know, whatever it is that you are bringing into your, um, bringing, uh, welcoming into your cycles, I mean, your, your circle. Again, if you're not interested in romantic love, it could be a very, um, it could be uh, an, an extreme, extremely intelligent, you know, um, air sign that's coming into air signs of uh, cerebral. So it could be somebody who you just feel like you all just bounce a lot of ideas off of, and it can be strictly platonic, you know, Aquarius. And so whatever it is, but it could also, it, whoever it is, sources say you want them, they're, they're taking the blindfolds off and just seeing how intelligent you are, just like you see how intelligent they are. Here we also have the four of cups. So somebody could be ruminating, kind of sitting around like, well, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we have the seven of, um, seven of swords. While in this full moon phase, source is also showing you what energies are, they have very low vibrational thoughts about you as well, you know, Aquarius. And to some of the to energies that you left behind that source told you to move on from, those energies are very angry, still plotting and planning, still doing all kinds of stuff, Aquarius. But like I said before, source is saying to you, continue moving forward, you know, continue moving forward, right? Here we have two and seven, you know, those types of energies, like I said, nightmare, nightmare energies. So source needs you to move on from those. You're, you're wise enough to know exactly who the energies are, um, who, what energies are still saying why this and why that here we have four and five of cups as your will as your um and then we got nine of cups again as your wishes are being fulfilled you can go ahead and put a manhole cover you know over the past because what sources bringing together are your perfect group of energies right they're also incredibly smart they're also incredibly wise aquarius and they're not going to be a nightmare on elm street for you right so yeah so, yeah, so they're also, like I said, booked and busy, not burdened at all, um, but also, you know, coming together. So Source wants you to operate in childlike faith moving forward, operating in childlike faith. Yep, night energy. So what's interesting about this group of energies that you're coming in contact with in terms of like just your creativity, because it looks like somebody is very, very creative here. So I don't know if you're starting businesses or what, what you're doing, Aquarius, but these crew, uh, a group of creators, you know, their, their energy is very nurturing, right? Um, 
in your group, for those of you all who want to be in a romantic relationship, you'll find your person in that group, you know, in that group of uh, of people. And I, and I kind of sort of tread waters lightly with you all, Aquarius, is you all are pretty independent uh, sign. Uh, So you slow down, right? You don't do all, all the pouring into a situation where then when you pull back your water, people feel like they're angry because, and you know, and they're stabbing a birthday cake. What's the name of that movie? Um, with uh, Lynn Whitfield and Martin Lawrence back in the day, they're not mad. Isn't that, you know, emotionally, they're not, you know, like deranged and frustrated stabbing a birthday cake because you decided to just move on, you know, with your life. So, um, and I'm not saying that for anybody's egotistical purposes. I, I'm very well aware how each zodiac sign, how they, how they pour into every energy. And you all are upright human being with a large cup, like a goblet or cup of water, your air sign, but you're a water bearer. So you have an enormous amount of creativity and joy to, um, pour into people's lives. Um, and so sources say you're learn how, learning how to protect your water so that other energies around you don't manipulate your emotions. Right. So, um, yeah, somebody's going to definitely feel like they hit the jackpot. Somebody's going to definitely feel like they hit the jackpot in very, in, in several areas of your lives. So let's see what else is going on here, Aquarius. Yeah. So I feel like somebody could be having just like a very colorful life, maybe a makeup line for somebody. Somebody could be restarting a singing career. Um, somebody could be learning how to paint. Um, someone could be going back to school, um, creatively pouring into some things, right? I definitely feel like somebody is, um, bringing joy into it, which is actually going to add to any environment where it feels like it's kind of a dry environment, right? So let's say for instance, somebody decides to go back to school, you're bringing this color, this vibrant energy into a classroom, or if you decide to start a business, you're bringing that vibrancy into whatever spaces that you're in, meaning that your presence will definitely be felt once you come in and also when you leave, Aquarius. So keep your vibrations, keep it on the throne. Ace of um, Wands, your third eye is open. So Source is alerting you to a lot of energies you know, around you that, um, or that you may have come in contact with. And this is where, if you watched the previous video, I think it was a bonus video about your gifts, Aquarius. This is where your gifts are in full swing, right? Your gifts are in full swing, Aquarius, right? So you already have deja vu, precognition, premonition, you know, already had telepathic conversations, all of those things, Aquarius. So you, you, you know, you know, so, yeah, so, um, and you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulder and celebrating something. It's a lot that you're celebrating. It's a lot that you're celebrating, Aquarius. Not only booked and busy, being around other creatives, um, not burdened by, you know, any energies that were trying to reach up and reach out to you, Aquarius, be it telepathy or otherwise, it's going to feel like that's not your responsibility, not your duty and responsibility. So two types of situations in particular are going to feel like a, a weight has been lifted. And there's the star card, right? So yeah, there's the star card. Your star is definitely shining bright, Aquarius. And here we have the Knight of Swords. The Source needs you to be locked in and more laser focused than ever before now, because this is what you're moving towards. Nine of Pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. And so you've already decided to move on from the depth of emotions that could have been attached to something, like I said before, other people's games, you know, in the past. And um, you've already moved on from disappointment. Whatever was disappointing for you, you got good news coming in. And so you're definitely heavy on a lot of people's minds, Aquarius, but sources saying again to you, you know, um, don't sit around and overthink it. There's nothing to overthink. Here we have Ace of Pentacles. You're a hardworking person. Continue working hard and start focusing on your legacy. What do you want your name to be known for? Because Source is saying to you, take a leap of faith into your own future. So while you're meditating, make sure you close off all access points of anybody trying to reach into to have a telepathic conversation with you. They can handle whatever they need to handle that's going to protect their energy um, in the spirit realm, Aquarius, if that makes sense to anybody. Yeah, but for you, Source is already giving you the green light to continue moving forward, right? Yeah. So, 
Yeah, you're operating in your light. Remember we talking about the sunlight right here? We know that the sun is a star, right? So you operating in your purpose. That's why I said somebody's going to feel real lucky. This is definitely your year, Aquarius. And that's what you want to focus on, sitting on your throne, you know, of your emotions, right? And um, here we have King of Swords again, right? Incredibly smart people coming across your path that also have had the same background as you. Some people like to play these little chess games, Um and so this is not something that I see you need to overthink at all. I mean, really, I don't see you overthinking this at all. Let's see what else we got going on here, Aquarius. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to close this out. Let's see what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, Aquarius. All right, let's see. Um, okay, we got those. All right, let's get these cards, Aquarius. Let's get these cards here. Hmm. Yeah, something is definitely over. Something is definitely over um, as far as um, you're, like I said, you're not carrying the, 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 the overthinking weight. You're not carrying other energies, pain or um, manipulation. You're not carrying whatever they're tied to, their toxic water. Let me just put it that way, poison water. You're definitely a healer. Somebody is definitely a healer. And so you have to know as a healer, you can't get fixated on healing energies that are not ready to heal themselves. Remember, healed people move very differently. There's a lot of energies that you that want to coexist, you know, with your energy, Aquarius. But what's going to really help you, Aquarius, is not only knowing that there's other Aquarius out there in the, in the planet, but you got to know what your birth chart is, like just what your moon sign is, what your rising you know, what the other placements are in your birth chart so that you're, you don't have to overthink uh, what could potentially manipulate your emotions for bad, which could in, in, uh, potentially drain you like an energy vampire or energy vampires. You got to know when to close out cycles and move forward, right? So sources, you're victorious. Source is actually rewarding you from moving on, you know, from some things. So somebody definitely is in a is in a better headspace, you know, and source is cooking up something for you nice. Somebody feels like a teenager again, you know, moving forward again, feeling like huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders, Aquarius. And as you should, really as you should. Very, very good. So when you're writing your letter, you know, with the eye of a hawk. Um, that using, using the discernment because somebody has definitely gained a lot of knowledge, discerning and, and discernment, knowledge, also um, a lot more wisdom about self, right? Um, and you're feeling more empowered during this full moon in Virgo phase, right? You've tied up whatever loose ends you needed to tie up Aquarius, Um and you're writing a letter of gratitude to whatever it is you're leaving behind. You know, some of you all are leaving your old your jobs behind. Some of you all are leaving friendships behind. Um, and, and all of it would be tied to the overthinking, you overstaying in spaces where your healing becomes secondary as a healer, if somebody's a healer, where your healing starts to become secondary. So people don't start, they start to look at you as a healing energy to them, but they don't see how they, they can use their gifts, their being in their light to help to heal you as well, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius. Five of Pentacles, yep. Yeah. So we will walk it back, right? So five of pentacles, source has already approved you to move through your vault door. So that's not even, that's not, you don't even have to give it a whole lot of energy and a whole lot of time. Um, and you're still on your throne, you know, queen of pentacles, right? There's your group of people, you know, Aquarius that you're sitting around the table with. There's a lot of temptation around that table, Aquarius, now. <laughs> whatever your temptations are, whatever your demons are, you better know, you better know what they are. And keep your keep your emotions on the throne. Keep your emotions on the throne. Some kind of proposal is coming across your path, Aquarius. It's a proposal in business or a proposal in love coming across your path. So you definitely want to cut ties with any energies where you feel like, you know, that you've been holding on to that's unhealthy and wounded, right? So that could be codependency. That could be any toxicity that you may have held on to feeling like you need to hang in there and continue healing energies, loved ones, 
ex friends, whomever. I gotta, I gotta, I just, I just gotta kind of hold on to that because they, they need your, they need your water, they need your healing. You know, sources say you gotta trust source. Here we have La Luna, right? It'll drive you crazy, make you feel like a lunatic, and it's not even coincidental that I was talking about family. This particular card is really talking about family. This is where you cannot um, remember the sun is a star, right? And the sun illuminates the moon. Sits behind the moon, illuminates the moon, right? And so it can drive you crazy to feel like, okay, I maybe I'm being pulled back to um, certain family relationships where sources like, yeah, your energy is very healing. They want to, they want to, um, coexist with you Aquarius, but you still are on assignment. Every human being on this planet is on assignment. So, um, like I said, we, we know by now what deja vu means, right? You know what deja vu means. It's, um, you know, just remembering the future, just like this, this feeling like you've been here before. So when you go back and you say, okay, you have this premonition or this precognition or deja vu and, and you have all of these visions and you're like, ah, if I go back to certain things, uh, I already know what the future holds, right? So that's what deja vu, you know, does for you. It's like, I've been here before. So you're really moving through space and time, Aquarius, just remembering, you know, if you were to go back to certain things, it would put you back in the Ten of Swords, uh, and it doesn't really matter because the spirit can be in any physical body, in any physical body, whether it's your family, whether it's somebody else's family, whether it's an organization family, something, but you're not interested in, um, you have your own, you have your own structure, you have your own legacy to build. So there's definitely some energies that you've made an impact on them. You know, Aquarius, whether they deem it as good or bad, they are choosing to look at the bad. And that's why I said in your pre one of your previous videos, Aquarius, keep your vibrations high. Remember positive impacts that people may have had on you and take those memories and close them out in love with that letter to source, a letter of gratitude to the past, right? A letter of gratitude to the past. Remember, you move from your heart chakra. So that's... Uh, to love and to be love, right? And so, um, do you you don't have any hate for anything that you're leaving behind? Yeah, you have the gift of deja vu. You have the gift of premonition, like I said in these cards right here. You have this forewarning gift. You have remembering the future. You know, deja vu, Aquarius. So this is good, 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 good stuff for you. Good stuff. So I, I feel like somebody is there where you recognize spirits over physical bodies, right? So somebody's learning how to train their spirit, like really sharpening your spirit as a healer. Good for you, Aquarius. Oh, there we go. There we go. More gifts coming out. You have the gift of clairsentience. You pick up on others' vibrations, their emotions, their moods, their feelings. So you may have picked up on a cold shoulder or you may have picked up on something someone said or what someone did um, that caused you to pause. But here we have Angel Raphael is protecting you all, Aquarius, the healer and protector of travelers. So, yeah, so information has definitely traveled to you, Aquarius, and I don't see somebody going backwards at all. You have Archangel uh, Angel Michael, the dispenser of justice you know, in your favor. Wow. Okay. New love awaits, you know, for somebody. So, wow, you got a lot of good things coming out here, Aquarius. This is very nice. Very, very nice. So maybe somebody does want to be in a romantic relationship, but new love awaits. I can tell you, you know, with the gifts that you have, be very sensitive, Aquarius, to numbers. If you go get gas, you know, look at, add all those numbers up, right? Before and after the decimal point. Um, if you see certain numbers, you don't have to wait for, um, um, numbers in a certain sequence, add them up to a single digit Aquarius and, and go look up what that angel number means, right? Cause source is giving us all kinds of signs and wonders around you. So you definitely want to look at everything that you know, I have of the hawk. Okay. More gifts. I'm telling you, I, it, it's not even by coincidence that I'm pulling these cards because this came out on your previous reading. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You see clearly. You have the gift of clear audience. You you uh, clear listening, right? You hear what other people don't hear. You hear the cadence in people's voices, Aquarius. You you hear the um, 
you hear what people don't say you hear what it comes through so loud aquarius that you hear their thoughts and i'm telling you if you were to tell somebody somebody would literally think that you need to be in a straight jacket somewhere if you were to tell somebody the, the messages that comes through for you and they coming through strong they coming through strong let's see if we can get some last messages before we pull some more oracle cards and close it out for you so when you say dear whatever or whoever, I want to say thank you for being such a great person, place, a thing for the past month, whatever number of months, number of years, whatever the case may be. Even that number holds a significance, Aquarius. So that's where you want to sit down and meticulously. I know this is not the time to go on a spaceship. You want to really, really be meticulous about this because these are all messages that source is sending to you. So yeah, nine of pentacles. There it is, nine. Somebody, so th that's, let me just pull three cards here. Nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles, and also strength card. So the nine of pentacles, the number nine lets me know, it's nine is a, nine is a death rebirth number. So again, something has completely ended, right? And so you've chosen to land on the bright side of the number nine. So you're not giving time to even considering reopening this this um, airtight closed circle right and um because it would be foolish for you to go backwards right so the dark side of the number nine are energies that may have felt like they wasted their time they're tyrannical egotistical even the number nine looks like a person with a big head sources saying you know you're not interested in any hey big head text messages right you have already ended something your psychic abilities have increased and also your clairvoyance has also increased right so you already know so you're already the i know sign so your knowledge so to to invest any more time in reopening something absolutely not pentacles is like it, it again you're only moving forward something is dead dead right so here we also have the knight of pentacles and you're you're back to work here we have the strength card really tapping into your strength like I said before, um, when we talk about usually on the strength card is a lion, it's a half lion, half human, half lion, right? You being meek and continue. Remember, the strength card is uh, ruled by uh, the sun. I mean, this Leo is ruled by the sun. You operating in your light shows you something, Aquarius. It strengthened you. You know, you talk about sunbathing and cleansing. I feel like that somebody is spend some time in the sun and did some cleansing, you know, cleansing of your spirit, Aquarius. So congratulations to you. Like I said, we pulled those last three cards for you and source is saying move forward. There it is. There it is. There it is. So yeah, there's certain family members that are, um, that are watching. Um, there's certain people, energies that you left behind that are watching. But there you are, extraordinary, right? There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored, Aquarius. That's right. All these gifts came out. So sources, um, you know, like I said, the dispenser of justice, the angel, uh, the angel Michael came out. Also, we got the angel Raphael came out as well, you know, protector of travelers. And so those of you all who are traveling, you're protected, um, you know, so like I said, information has definitely traveled, you know, to you, you know, Aquarius. So goody, goody, goody for you. Goody, goody, goody. It doesn't really matter who I know. Sometimes people was like, well, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It doesn't really matter. You're divinely protected. You're divinely protected. What some energies are learning about you, Aquarius, is that as a healer, they could also be healers too. Whoever in your family or whoever path you may have traveled, you know, your feet have traveled too, right? Their way of healing may be different than your way of healing, Aquarius. It's not a competition. There's multiple stars in the sky, right? And so when you come across energies that something about their spirit lets you know that they have, they feel like they have to, to be the only star in the sky, then that's your, that was your cue or else you pick up on an energy of cold shoulder. You say, mm -mm, no. Yeah. That's where, that's where like, uh, some of your family members, once they realize what something again, to only talk, take what resonates with you. Some of your family members, once they realize that you have healing energy 
and that the way that source is moving you is not necessarily the same way that they may have gone. They may have gotten licensed. They may have gotten certain degrees, certain this and that, so on and so forth. And when I say family, I'm not just talking about uh, blood relatives, family, right? It could have been your job, family, you know, family, whatever. Um, once people realize the way that source is using you, right? Um, and to get to that goal of healing yourself and also your healing energies, you know, Aquarius, yeah, they can spend a whole lot of time, you know, complaining about what, you know, trying to judge the way, whatever, it doesn't even really matter. Cause I, I just don't even see you all even care. I mean, like, I feel like, I feel like y'all are on that frequency hear no evil, see no evil. I really feel like you all are on that. If it's not a frequency of love. That's so beneath you. It's not even funny. So here we have, there it is. In ceremony, you conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects that worship into yourself. So yeah, stone circle. Somebody is definitely on their path of just, um, you know, it, it's like it's like somebody, anybody that's maybe trying to talk about you, you know, and the way that you heal Aquarius. It's like talking to a brick wall, for real. Speaking of stone, it's like they just talk to... They're like they're talking to a brick wall. They can tell whoever, whatever. But the way this source is using your gifts, Aquarius, it's just, I mean, wow, amazing. When I say extraordinary, that's really an understatement. The way this source is using your gifts, amazing. It's in everything about you. Something about your inner, this is what we're talking about. Something about you just glows. When you step into a room, Aquarius, people know that something about is something just different about your energy people can look you know like because remember beauty's in the eye of the beholder right but it's something about your energy that sets you so far apart from just whatever spaces that source sets you in you definitely i mean something about your energy just definitely says alien and i mean at, at the highest compliment i am worthy of the very best in life and lovingly allow myself to accept what comes my way that's it. That's the frequency you on. You on a frequency of love. And we're not even talking about erotic love. We're talking about agape love, like at that frequency. So if people see you as competition, they, I mean, for real, they be, it's like, I'm telling you, it's like they talking to a, a brick wall, a stone. So that's you on that frequency. Creative frequency. That's right. There's that number nine again. Right. So somebody is definitely in that creative headspace, you know, with the creator, right, with the creator and aligning yourself with other people who are on that same frequency as the creator operating in the frequency of love, a frequency of love, Aquarius. So, yes, yeah, sit down and write that letter. Be very intentional and detailed. Be very deliberate about what you and then go get some fresh air. Go get some fresh air cleansed by your element you're an air sign right cleansed by your element if you need to toss something into a burning bowl flush those ashes down the toilet you got it all right your earth your physical body air the air that you breathe your sun you're operating in your light right your water you got that cup of water both in you and outside of you right so you're definitely creative here we have five 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 a major shift is about to come into your life aquarius and change your path to direction so be open and stay positive remain optimistic remember your words create your reality your thoughts are creating your reality aquarius so you're creating that so be be very careful of what you're thinking and what you're saying be very very careful about that but yeah um your your reputation is like i said you're sitting on your throne and um we have you have you're moving towards financial independence and legacy wealth you know aquarius so just as determined as some energies love interests are determined to get you back aquarius you are that determined to just close out cycles and move on as a matter of fact you've already closed out cycles just as determined as some of your family members want to reach back out to you again you're just on a different frequency of love so if they're not talking about love you can't even it's just that your ears are are it's like you're when we talk about clear audience right you have clear hearing so source it and because all of these gifts are working together to you already know what they're about to say you already know you already have the foresight the foreknowledge the deja vu you already know it, 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 to try to explain it to um, to try to explain it to 
anyone that's not on that frequency Aquarius it would literally sound like what in the world is Aquarius talking about you're just on that frequency you just glow from the inside out Aquarius so keep on glowing continue you know being a light you know in people's lives continue being that healing energy your smile heals your words heal your touch heals you know so yeah that's what I see for you all there it is creativity again and who are you creating with the creator so creativity i'm a ball of creative energy creative ideas circulate my very being i tap into all aspects of my imagination i command my inventive skills to step forward i connect it to my truest self i am solution oriented my gifts create room for me i am grateful for my innate gifts you on a different frequency aquarius you're on a frequency of love. That's a that's a frequency that really cannot be touched because it's a lot of people that don't want to get to that frequency unless there's some strings attached. But you are on that frequency, so stay there. Stay on your throne. Stay on your throne in every area, aspect of your of your universe. Stay on your throne. You have a lot of great ideas. A lot of great ideas. So I don't, let me see if there's any last, whatever, you know, Aquarius, any last messages, uh, for you in any way, shape, form or fashion. Let's see if there's any last. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter who it is. I know sometimes people like the salacious. Oh, who is it? Is it my ex? Is it, is it my cousin? Is it my, 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 uh, you know, ex spouse? Is it my, it's ex. Whoever you decide to close out that cycle with and they didn't make it to the other side with you, that's who it is. So, because again, you're on a different frequency. You're on a different frequency. So, source is making sure to let you know ahead of time what people are thinking and what they want to say to you before it can physically happen. Source has already put you on that frequency. Mm-hmm. So there's some energies that are lamenting Aquarius, you know, they definitely feel like, a, you know, full in reverse, you know, um, but and you have compassion, but you're pouring into your own cup of compassion right now. Right. And continuing to work hard. Right. And here we have, you know, moving forward to your group of energies. Right. Again, legacy wealth, legacy wealth, legacy wealth, legacy wealth, feeling like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. Yep, getting your wishes fulfilled, Aquarius. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Protecting yourselves, right? Not looking for anybody's um not looking for anybody's approval because again, legacy, legacy, legacy. That's the frequency that you're on. All right. So yes, Aquarius. Yes, yes, yes. There it is. There it is. So it's just saying, stay as far away from it. You know, if it comes up in your meditative state, you know, energy is trying to reach out to it. Just in that same power, close that door. Let that thing have a backdraft. Let it have a backdraft. You're, you're learning how to protect your energy. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all in the next reading. Again, happy full moon in Virgo to each and every one of you all in the next reading for your, um, actually, you know what? Let me give you the questions for the moon in Libra. Cause after that, the moon will be moving into Libra. You know, we'll be in a, um, we'll be in a full moon phase. You'll feel it for the next couple of days, but then we'll be going into a waning gibbous moon phase. So with the full moon phase, you feel like your energy level is peaked, right? But if you think about certain other people, places and things, again, it'll cause it to, you know, you feel like you're having a valley experience, right? So this is a good time for healing, um, to get your readings. If you read cards yourself to read your own cards, it's a great time to do it. And any other forms of divination, it's the time to make your moon water, you know, harvest your herbs, cleanse and charge tools under the moonlight, make protective amulets, you know, um, cleanse and charge your crystals, you know, the, the, the normal routine, you know, Aquarius that you want to do and also write your letters. But the speaking of Libra, this is this card right here. Speaking of Libra, this is really about, you know, you protecting your peace. This is about balance. This is about beauty, equality. Um, Libra loves partnerships. 
Libra is a zodiac sign to the moon, uh, Venus. It loves partnerships and it reminds you that there's no need to go it alone, right? So your your community that source is building for you right now, whether it's a romantic situation with you and somebody or just friendships, that's what source is building with you right now. So it, the moon in Libra is going to remind us that we don't have to live our lives in a vacuum. So when you write out that letter to your past of saying goodbye to people, places, and things, be very intentional and deliberate before you toss it into a burning bowl, because that's very important, Aquarius. That's going to that's gonna help you to pull your strength back, right? Flush those ashes down the toilet and start thinking about your partnerships and your relationships, right? So um, first question is, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, or harmony to the world? And then how could you amplify that? The second question is, what would happen if you spent more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves, right? Like I said, adding peace to your life, adding joy instead of taking away, right? Um, the third question is, um, do you receive as much as you give or vice versa? Again, if you've been a healer to energies, making them laugh, you know, you know, just be in a good head space. I feel like some of you all have done things for your family, like paid bills for people. And as long as you're pouring into great, you're the greatest person in the world. You're getting pat on the shoulder, being invited to stuff. And even with the still, the still shade and all that stuff, Aquarius, I feel like, you know, now you're pulling your power back. Right. Um, um, and then fourth is which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space? And then last but not least, Aquarius, is what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude? So the more you stay in spaces that source tells you to close out, the more you'll start to nitpick and complain. That's when you go into kind of sort of that over analyzing, like coming out of the moon in Virgo. Now you're starting to be complaining. Oh, I've done all of this for them. And I can't believe that they didn't, you know, appreciate sources. And when you get to that point, it's time for you to pull out. Cause then now you step down off of your throne of thinking, you're not thinking the, the, the best thoughts about them. And that's why I said moving forward, you know, like in your previous video, and I mentioned to you, remember the happy thoughts, like find a silver lining in relationships that you're moving on from and just move beyond that. And anybody else that wants to think the worst about you or call you a snake or whatever, Aquarius, that's between them and whatever karma they bring back on themselves. But for you, you're at a high frequency. So stay on your throne, Aquarius, and I will see you all in the next reading, in your Monday motivational reading. Bye.